We now end of June, only two months away from UTMB. We're going to Italy for the Lavaredo 50k in the Dolomites, a region I don't know. This is part of my preparation race list that includes the Swiss Jura Trail that I did in May, the Geneva Ecke Trail that I did in June, the Zermatt Mountain Race in one week, and the Verbier Saint Bernard in two weeks. An intense block of races to ramp up the volume in view of the adventure of a lifetime, UTMB. Here we go, uh, new race, uh, new location, new country. We're going to Italy for the Lavaredo uh, by UTMB and uh, Cortina d'Ampezzo. So this is going to be a 50k race with about 2,700 meters deep plus. Really looking forward to it because I've never been in that part of, uh, of the Alps, the Italian Alps. Weather is going to be a little bit iffy. Apparently there's going to be some storms, but at least it's not going to be as hot as it's been uh, the last few days here. So actually this time I'm going with, uh, with one of my buddies. So uh, that'll be cool. Let's get this show on the road. de te rejoindre sur cette aventure pour la première fois. Donc, euh, ouais. ouais. Ça change un peu, c'est bien. Cool. D'habitude, on se reste dans la tornade à ça sera la cortina à l'aise. head off to Cortina d'Ampezzo. With my buddy here, Sebastian, who's going to be uh, crewing for me over this uh, weekend for the race. I think there's only one, uh, one aid station where he can actually interact uh, with me, but that's, uh, that's already something. It'll be cool. Uh, he'll be getting some footage as well. So that's, uh, that's a nice... Uh, Nice help from uh, from Seb on this yes, race. That's so a good start. We're gonna have a good time uh, this weekend. Here we go. So we're now in the midst of the Dolomite Mountains. Absolutely incredible views we're having uh, here as we get closer to uh, Cortina Lampezzo. Uh, really incredible. I'm looking forward to visiting uh, the little town as well. Get the bib and uh, then uh, chill out for the rest of the day until uh, the big day tomorrow. Covering the hotel room. Yeah, pretty good. It's just for one night anyway, so nothing special, but nice and comfy. Ça va, Stia?
Oh my dear Raphael, how do you feel before this epic journey in front of you? Feeling great with my buddy here, Sebastian. And tomorrow I think it's going to be a good race. It's not going to be too hot, so that's going to be pretty good. Because today was uh, a bit too hot, I think, for a lot of the races. Tomorrow will be much cooler, some thunderstorms as well. I think on the downhill is going to have to be a little bit careful, especially with my ankle. Now we're just having a good, uh, good dinner, and then we're going to have an early night and uh, try and uh, get up uh, with full of energy for, for tomorrow's race. And Sebastian will be there crewing for me, so I'm <laughs> counting on him to do a good job. Ah, and Sebastian. You're my friend, yes, of course. <laughs> For the it's race. Great. It's gonna be great. Yes? Good race, I think. It's gonna be a, a big day. The weather is a little bit iffy, a bit stormy, but uh, at least it's less hot than yesterday, so hopefully we'll, uh, we'll get a good race in. 50k, 2700 meters D, plus, so it's gonna be good. Okay, heading to the start line now. Uh, the weather is. Uh, uncertain for today so we'll no doubt have some uh, thunderstorms later probably some rain even so at least it's fresh fresher with my crew member here Sebastian who will be helping me get some additional footage as well Just under 30 minutes away from uh, of where you're going today. So uh, we'll be giving you a little bit of information between now and... The start of the race is always a solemn moment. A mixture of excitement, apprehension and uncertainty. I wonder whether I'm going to be up to the challenge. It's going to be tough. But I remind myself that I decided to be here. And I decided to be here to experience awe and place another brick in the foundations of preparation for UTMB. Alright, so this is a packed race. I've never seen so many people on the start line in any of the races I've done before. So this is definitely the UTMB effect. Well, there we go. Lucas here, yes. running with me. Great to meet some uh, supporters here. Yeah, <laughs> you're having a good Definitely. time. Huh? Absolutely. Yeah, excellent. Cool. Having views here and everything. Have you Perfect. ever been here before? No, first no. time. First time. Same here. Yeah. Discovering. 
Italian Alps. We now set off onto our new adventure. It's hot and humid, but I'm feeling strong and decide to push a little. The views are mind-blowing. Had never been in this part of the Alps, and I'm in awe in the face of this beauty. The first climb of the race went well, and we're now onto quite a long, flat section. I start to feel a slight niggle on the exterior of my left knee. Not a great sign so early in the race. Beautiful views. Amazing. Rolled around the kilometer eight, climbed around 600 meters. Despite the niggle on the exterior of the left knee, which I think is still a relic from the previous race, I'm feeling strong and passing quite a few runners. I'm keeping well aware of my ankle and my shin splints, which was a major issue in early spring, but for the moment, nothing to be worried about on that front. This long flat section is taking us towards the first checkpoint, but I didn't study the map very well, and I'm wondering whether it's an aid station or just a checkpoint. We're now at around kilometer 11 and climbed around 800 meters. Still feeling strong and trying to gain some places, a bad habit I keep falling back into. This is the checkpoint, so no aid station in sight. It's going to be a long grind until we can restock in supplies. following each other in single line, not easy to overtake without giving it a good acceleration and overusing our energy. So I just follow the flow at this stage, comfortable with the pace, until the trail hopefully opens up later on.
hot and humid and I'm going through my water quite fast. Luckily there's a stream here and I use my Salomon flask with its filter to collect some water along the way. The surroundings are really inspiring with these vertical cliffs that are quite intimidating. I recall that this is just the first of three races in three weeks. A big block of preparation and I can't afford to injure myself. I cannot compromise UTMB that is coming up in two months. The daunting and exciting objective. I try not to think about it too much, to focus on the here and now. We'll be reaching the first aid station and crew chief Sebastian will be waiting for me there. I feel sorry for him. The weather's not on our side. Okay, so we got the rain gear out now. And the storms are rolling in. It's here that I discovered the use of some original curved poles. Some weirdly shaped ones that are not retractable. Many Italians use these. Okay, so around kilometer 16, climbed only 1,000 meters. We went from hot, very hot, to fresh in the space of uh, 20 minutes. The first aid station ends up being much further than I thought. It is at kilometer 24 and 1,700 meters from the start. I had misread the map thinking that the first checkpoint was an aid station. It was not. We're now going over the first pass and on our way to the aid station. I'm looking forward to catching up with my crew chief. Second stop. Nice spot. Amazing spot. Beautiful nature. Allez mon coco. Die 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 die. Ça va mon ami? How do you feel? How do you feel? Big storm. It's hell today. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was super hot at the beginning, and now it's uh, pretty fresh. <laughs> oh but it's feeling okay so far. I can guess about it. Yes. Yeah. It's just just a for me, it's uh, it's uh, like hell, but <laughs> for you, <laughs> it's a big mess. Yeah. But uh, you are a champion. Thanks, man. Thanks for being here. All right. We're gonna fuel up. See you in a bit, my friend. Good organization. Under this Titan. You need some water, right? I have. <laughs> you, you have uh, enough for today? Oh my god.
Ça te fait plaisir que toi là alors Ouais, c'est clair. Bien. Génial. Il a pas une vitamine. Ouais. <rire> yes. Here we go again. Destination. Next. Stop. Hello. <rire> Despite me saying to my crew chiefs that I'm feeling well, the knee is starting to be a real issue. Chafing is also starting, just like in the previous race in Geneva. Add to that that the rain is making the terrain extremely slippery, I'm not really in a great headspace at the moment. I remind myself that I'm less than 30 kilometers in. 30 kilometers. At UTMB, I would still have another 140 to go. How in the world am I going to manage to finish that race if I'm already not in an optimal condition so early in this race? Uh, 2,000 meters. Feeling okay, but the left knee is uh, it's annoying me a little bit on the flat. <sighs> but well worth the views. I'm really just trying to persuade myself I'm well. The knee is just getting worse and worse, and I know it. I know I will suffer on downhills, and one is just coming up. de Passo Gio in the Italian Dolomites. This will be the third stop for Rafael in about 30-40 minutes. The downhill just made my knee worse. I can feel a knife poking in the exterior of my knee. We're nearing the five hours, having covered a little more than 30 kilometers and climbed over 2,000 meters. The biggest climbs are behind us which means it's mostly downhill from here, literally and figuratively. It is going to be very painful. Die, die, die. Amazing point of view. Coco hey. Allez mon ami Ça va Allez cours, cours Je te suis, je te suis, vas-y Ça va, Ça va ouais. Allez, cours Allez, vas-y Ça va Comment te sens-tu Ça va Ça va Ça va Ça va Ça Just the left knee hurting. Ouais. Otherwise feeling okay. Ouais. It's not too slip, uh, slippery. It's super slippery. Ah ouais. Yeah. Be careful, hein. Bon appétit. Merci. Coca. 
Ravitaillement. Ah. <rire> Brand chaffing. Over here. Oh ouais. Super, super painful now. Oh yes. I prefer going uphill than downhill. Um, Think about the nice pizza more than the, for tonight. The yeah. big nice pizza. We'll encourage you to run uh, in a good way. Mm. So here we are in uh, one of the aid stations. Crew member. Yes. Top, Sebastian. Come, yeah. come back of the them. storms as well. <laughs> Chasing come the storms. <laughs> You'll meet me in Cortina in a bit. Yes. Cool. See you guys. Well, except for my chaffing, I've uh, put uh, some straps here. So hopefully that will help me uh, not suffer as much. So there we go. The storms are back again. I'm doing my best to ignore the increasing pain in my left knee. I focus on the objective. Despite it being a short distance, I'm already entering the pain cave. Not a great day to be already visiting this grotto. The mind starts playing games with us. Why are we doing this to ourselves? The same age old question. But I'm able to push this question aside, focusing on not slipping and twisting my ankle. This surface is treacherous. I finally arrive at the last aid station. It was a grind to reach it. My knee is really hurting now. What in the world is up with it? After all my training, all the hours and effort and yet another injury is popping up. After the shin splint and the sprained ankle, now it's the knee's turn. Despite my strong start to the race, my energy level is okay. I'm not feeling too drained as my Garmin confirms. I was able to manage that pretty well. Now it's the last stint, a very long downhill to Cortina that is going to be a killer for my knee. There's Cortina over there. Beautiful. We're getting there. Putain, la vie I can feel other runners breathing down my neck. On this single track, I prefer letting them go by. Downhills are not my forte, and my knee feels like someone is stabbing it at each step. It's incredibly painful at this stage. This does not bode well for the next races. Next weekend, we head to Zermatt in Switzerland for another ultra. Not sure how it will pan out with the knee as it is. I hope it doesn't get any worse in the last 15 kilometers.
Somehow in life, when we really want something so badly, we're able to find the strength we didn't know we have. It is there lingering in the depths of our soul, waiting to be ignited to unleash a strong fire, a fire that burns the pain, burns doubt, burns naysayers, and its heat powers us through challenges we never thought possible to overcome. It burns through whatever stops us from tapping into our true potential. All right, we're arriving in Cortina, 47.7 uh, kilometers. Uh, not easy, but uh, knee is uh, screwed, so that didn't help. So, there we go. Today, despite the agonizing pain coming from my knee, I'm running, running through the pain towards my grand objective, UTMB. Nothing will stop me. Nobody will stop me. I'm determined. Yes, we made it. We made it. Beautiful atmosphere here. I won that finish line in Chamonix. I don't know how I'll reach the finish, but I'll reach it, whatever it takes. Today, I'm another step closer but the road to Chamonix is still long and treacherous. It will be tough, but it'll be beautiful, just like life. There he is, never saw him this morning. Uh, and uh, right. Race done, Welcome. seven hours, 27 minutes. Oh, that wasn't easy. Ah. There we go, race done. Seven hours, seven hours, 27 minutes on my own. I had to put a bandage on the knee. That was a great race, it was difficult, very muddy, very slippery. Uh, I fell a few times and uh, luckily didn't injure myself too, uh, too badly. But uh, the knee still, uh, knee is pretty sore now. So I'm going to have to look after that one. Uh, creating problems uh, since two weeks ago. Uh, beautiful, beautiful Dolomites. If you come uh, to Italy, definitely go to the Dolomites. It's uh, incredible mountains, really. It's really worth the trip. If you get a chance to do this race, definitely do it because it's an incredible race. Uh, beautiful scenery the whole time. Uh, very well organized, so I can't recommend it uh, enough. Uh, so now I think we're gonna have a beer and, and a good pizza. Medal. Don't forget your medal. Uh, medal, yeah, I'm gonna get my medal. It's gonna be The well deserved beer, finally. It's the best part of ultra running. The beers. <laughs> nice, nice. Thank you.